This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda, Pastoral Director of CTNY. I am John Donches from St. Christine Parish in Youngstown. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Sergeant Stanley J. Pahut. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's presence and word in Eucharist. So let us together acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the highest, highest and, on and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, to people of good goodwill. Will. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you, you. we give, give you thanks for your great, great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exult at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with children. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Our responsorial song. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done great, great things, things for us. We, we are, are filled, filled with, with joy. joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done great, great things, things for us. We, we are, are filled, filled with, with joy. joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done great, great things, things for us. We, we are, are filled, filled with, with joy. joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. 
He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, our Gospel reading for today contains one of the most tragic figures in the entire Bible. He is known as Bartimaeus, the blind beggar. Now, we would assume that Bartimaeus was actually his real name, but it really is not a proper name at all. It was a word that simply meant son of Timaeus. So apparently, the man had so little regard that no one either bothered to learn his name or he had no name. He was just known as the blind son of Timaeus, who spent his meager life begging on the streets of Jericho. He appears in the gospel because Jesus and the crowd gathered around him happened to be passing by the place where he was seated. Well, when Bartimaeus heard the crowd, he inquired what was happening. On hearing that it was Jesus whom he had somehow heard about, he began to cry out to him for help. Well, another indication of how this blind beggar was disregarded by his own people is a statement, many people were scolding him to make him keep quiet. They feared that he might embarrass them. If Jesus asked for something from the man, or maybe the man asked something from Jesus, like a donation or a favor. In any case, they did not want their distinguished visitor and festive occasion disturbed by someone so insignificant as a blind beggar. But Bartimaeus persisted and his cries were heard by Jesus. Now, Jesus could have ignored those pleas from Bartimaeus, and few would have noticed, and even fewer would have cared. But that is not how Jesus felt about people, especially the disadvantaged and the oppressed. Now, most of us like to think of ourselves as champions of the underdog, but that doesn't involve much commitment at times on our part. But what about the real underdogs? Those who live at the bottom of the social ladder. They may be poor or sick or old or physically or emotionally challenged. Let's face it, 
People with real problems can be quite a bother to us. They cost money. They take time. To work with them is emotionally draining. They may be uncooperative or ungrateful. Most of us feel like the citizens of Jericho who would wish that the outcasts would just be quiet and go away. Well, Jesus doesn't share that sentiment. He invested most of his ministry into people whom the establishment considered unworthy of their time and attention. Have you ever wondered why Jesus cared so deeply for the outcast? Well, there are really two basic reasons. One was that Jesus knew personally what it meant to be an outcast. He experienced in his own life how it felt to be an outcast. Remember that he was born in a stable. When he got back to his hometown for a visit, the congregation in the synagogue that day turned into an angry mob who wanted to kill him. To his own he came, but his own did not accept him, the Bible said. Jesus knew what it meant to be an outcast. And sometimes, so do you and me. But we don't like to think about it because it's too painful of an experience. We have all been there. It may have been in your childhood when other children excluded you from their crowd or their games. It may have been in your teen years when a certain group of people made it very clear that you did not belong. It may have been on the job or at the bank or even in church. At one point or another, we have all felt left out and overlooked or put down. Now, Jesus had that experience, and that's why he had a special care for the outcast. I think the other reason is that he knew there were no outcasts with God. Jesus was the Son of God and the brother of every woman and man on earth. This faith is summarized in the last judgment scene recorded in the New Testament. I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink, and so on. Then Jesus concluded, as often as you did it for the least of my sisters and brothers, you did it for me. That is how Jesus felt about people. There were no insignificant people among them. With him, there were no outcasts because there were no outcasts with God. They were all sisters and brothers who were all daughters and sons of God. Now, if you and I call ourselves his followers, we must share that same conviction. Especially, we must care for those who live at the bottom rung of the social ladder. Their cries for help must reach our ears and touch our hearts. Otherwise, we have no right to bear the name of him who met the need of the blind beggar in Jericho. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe, I believe in, one in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, and earth of, of all things, things visible and, and invisible. invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, 
and and rose rose again again on the the third day day in accordance with the scriptures. He He ascended into into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the Holy Church of God, that we may be a healing presence to all the people of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer that all nations set aside their arms and embrace the causes of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For doctors, nurses, counselors, and all who work in the healing professions, and for all who work to develop new treatments and cures, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For our parish communities, as we reach out to those around us, seeking to share our faith in the good news of Jesus Christ, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all priests, as they seek to emulate the selfless love of our great high priest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you for hearing our needs as you know our wants, and we make them known through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world. You have arranged the times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord Lord God of hosts, hosts, heaven heaven and and earth are full full of your glory. glory. Hosanna Hosanna in the the highest. highest. Blessed Blessed is he he who comes comes in the name name of the the Lord. Lord. Hosanna Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, may be filled with this Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be, be done. done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, power and, the, and glory the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am am not not worthy worthy that you should should enter enter under under my my roof, roof, but but only only say the word, and my soul soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you, May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.